Hi everybody, uh, we're getting to that time of the year again where all the new equipment's coming in. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new irons that have just come in. I uh, did woods last time, but today it's about the, the, the irons. So the irons I'm going to test is the new Stealth Iron from TaylorMade, which is quite forgiving and long. The new Rogue ST Iron. The new Ping I-525 and against my own iron, the Strixon ZX-5, which isn't changing. Um, first uh, opinions on them, because I've actually already fitted myself with all of these to find out what the numbers are. Uh, and they're all very, very good. Uh, with the Strixon and with the Ping, the top line's much neater, so it doesn't look as chunky when you look it down on it. Ball flight, medium ball flight with both. Very stable, both left and right, and they give me the distance I'm looking for. With the Ping, I'm oh, sorry, not the Ping, the TaylorMade and the Callaway Rogue. These are what I call your more forgiving irons. So slightly higher ball flight and long. And they actually are quite straight as well, but a much thicker top line. So it's going to be personal preference as well. The one thing with the Stealth is I find if you slightly cut it, it definitely goes a little bit straighter because it, it feels a little bit more draw biased as an iron, which is unusual. So we're going to hit a few. Uh, I definitely know, say, the, the Callaway and the Taylor Mega me longer, but I'm going to go through that. Uh, my name's William Noble. I'm the PGA uh, professional at St. Anne's Golf Club. And while we're doing this, I'm going to be using the Titus Pro V1X, which is the ball that normally suits me, or the Strix and XV. But the reason I'm using the Titus one is got, it's the RT model, which has been made in particular with TrackMan to give me exact numbers. So I'm going to lower the lights down, and we're going to hit three shots of each. Now, so I'm going to start with my own iron, uh, the Strixon ZX5. All my clubs are about 0.25 an inch shorter than standard, one degree flat, and they kind of suit my way of swinging. 160 is my target. All seven irons. So happy enough with that one. A little bit right. It's okay. So, yeah, 161 roll out, carry about 147. So that's pretty good. Actually, I might just hit two shots with each, time wise. So we go again. Now it's got a hit, but it'll be interesting to see what it does. Very straight, so I know where it's going. Uh, 165, 68 rollout, 172 rollout, carry about 151. So pretty good numbers to start with. Greens are set firm on the uh, Trackman there, virtual target. So I'm going now ping, which I know are pretty good clubs. Uh, slightly thicker top line, toes a little bit uh, higher. I like the look of this as well. I know pings are uh, very forgiving. Now, uh, red dot, so two degrees flat with them, with this head, with relation to most other companies, but one degree flat for ping. Lovely sound off it. Excuse the hole in the thing, that was one of my guys, club head speed, so we're getting that replaced. So again, carry about 151, run out of 167, pretty close to my ZX5. Very stable clubs, that's what you want with an iron. It, to be honest with me, with irons, it's, it's all about uh, repeating the number, uh, knowing that's the, the distance you hit it, and dispersion, how tight it is, and ping and tricks and are pretty straight. Okay, that was a slight miss hit. Now, so, so far so good with uh, those. Now, I'm going to go now to the Stealth, TaylorMade. Again, one degree flat, 0.25 an inch shorter than standard. Slightly thicker line on it. This should bomb. I go a long, long way. Very forgiving. A little bit more draw biased. I have to feel that. Miss that. Not swinging perfect today, but that's what you want to be testing clubs sometimes with. So carry was bloody long, 160, uh, 178 uh, distance. So a lot longer. So if you're somebody who needs to hit it further in the air and needs an extra bit of distance, this club is definitely going to do it. If you're a little bit of a, a left or righter, or uh, a fader at the ball, it's definitely going to do the job for you. 
and I'm not hitting it perfectly and I'm still getting it out there. Yeah, so I'll carry there that time it was 155, 171. And that's what you get with the this particular iron and you'll see it with the, the rogue, there's a little pocket uh, along here around the face, a little slit. Oh, sorry, I'll turn the light up. Like so there, so it uh, gives a little bit of a trampoline effect. So it can come off hot sometimes off the club face, so your distances can vary a little bit. And if that isn't an issue for you and it's all about distance and a little bit of control and direction, then that will definitely do, but you will get the odd hot shot. Now I'm gonna go with the Callaway Rogue. The softer toe end, tick top line. Nice lightweight shaft for yours truly. And then, oh, that sounded good now. And they, their new driver's pretty similar as well. So that was bloody solid. So yeah, that's up there uh, with the TaylorMade 164. Carry 172, which is 173 total. So in regard to carry, it's definitely at least the club longer than my own club but lovely feel actually just a ticker top line very good slight block balance wasn't perfect but that's what this is all about yeah again carried at 156 162 miss it still went so my verdict um if it's about control and uh, distance is not a major issue controlling how far you hit every shot and you kind of do it in and around the same with an imperfect swing which we all have um, it's definitely Strixon all day I'm used to it for myself forged head uh, or the ping uh, the new ping i525 replacing the i500 very straight very stable Ping have got that little bit longer now again so that with even these performance irons for hitting those um, uh, straighter shots into greens and giving you the feel of a better head if it's all about business dead distance and a little bit of forgiveness uh, these two bios do it the callaway rogue and the tailor-made stealth just felt the rogue was just a little bit more stable so slightly straighter shots but i'm biased i i draw the ball anyway uh, so i'll be fighting that with this head anyway so again with a fader that's actually quite good so I hope this has helped and um, if you're looking for a custom fit which I recommend uh, just contact me on www.williamnoble.ie and we'll look after you again the golf ball makes a massive difference so when we're doing that we'll fit you with that at the same time so good seeing you bye